Let me ask you this. Let's say that Pope Paul the Sixth. Okay, let's say that uh, Pope Paul the Sixth exhumed the body of his predecessor. Had the body of his predecessor tried, defingered, reburied for a short while, and then thrown into the Tiber? What would modern Catholic media today have to say about that? Would they cover it up? Would they be silent about it? What if uh, Pope John the Twenty-Third, let's say, let's say he gave land to a mistress, let's say that Pope John the Twenty-Third murdered several people, let's say he was killed by a man who caught him in bed with his wife. Is that blasphemous? Should we be speaking like that about a pope? Well, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that these actions were undertaken by popes within the history of the Catholic Church. Pope Stephen the Sixth, he had his predecessor exhumed, had the body of his predecessor tried, defingered, reburied for a short while, and then had the body of his predecessor thrown into the Tiber. So this is actual history, papal history within the church. What would Catholic media do today if a pope undertook such actions? Would they cover it up? Would they remain silent? Would they dare to spin it? What if a pope gave land to his mistress? What if a pope was killed in the act of adultery by a jealous husband? What would a Catholic media do then? Would they spin it? Would they remain silent? Would they cover it up? Simply not talk about it? Omit it? What if a pope... What if Pius the Twelfth? Okay, what if Pius the Twelfth, what if he would have sold the papacy? What if Pius the Twelfth claimed that he did not hear enough screaming when cardinals who had conspired against him were tortured? What if Pope Pius made that claim today? What would Catholic media do? Would they twist those words and say, well, what he really meant to say was this? Would they make excuses for the torture of cardinals by a pope? Well, you know, torture in some instances, is that what they would do? They uh, spin it, twist it, twist the facts? Or would they simply cover it up because they would not know what to do with it? Would they cover it up? Or would they report it by, uh, you know, but overlook it? You know, kind of throw it in there and just continue to report on something else. Like when our Pope, Pope Francis, tells this story of a priest in a coffin, a dead priest in a coffin. And our Pope, when he was a member of the clergy in Argentina, goes to the funeral and he notices that this priest this priest that he considered to be a holy man because he heard so many confessions he's laying there no flowers and so Bergoglio at the time decides that hey I'm gonna go buy some flowers for for this priest because there's no flowers here and this man he was a holy man so let me go out buy some flowers he comes back he's uh, arranging the flowers and he sees a rosary clutched by the hand of the dead priest in the casket and so Pope Francis rips the cross from the rosary and essentially steals it from a dead priest have you heard 
Catholic media, and I know that some Catholic media outlets did report on it, but those who did, they kind of just overlooked that, and they go on to report the rest of what it was that the Pope said on this occasion. And do not dwell on the fact, or even look into, or even talk about, or expound upon the fact that our Pope is admitting to stealing a cross from a dead priest and still has the cross to this day. To this day still has the cross. Our Pope, Pope Francis, did not say that he went to confession. He admits that it was the act of a thief. He says at that moment, the robber that is in all of us came out. And he stole a cross from a rosary from a dead priest. A dead priest clutching this rosary. And Pope Francis steals the cross from the rosary and has it till this day. Doesn't say he went to confession. Doesn't say he confessed it. Doesn't say that uh, there was any remorse over it. He still has the cross. Carries it around as Pope. And on top of that tells the priest, the dead priest, tells him, or asks him, give me half your mercy. I mean, it's it's just, you know, the mainstream media, or the, the Catholic media, I should say, Catholic media, what did they do with this revelation by Pope Francis? Just did not talk about it, did they? They reported it, but they overlooked it. And continued on to talk about other things. And more than anything, I just found this to be awkward, strange. It's just one of those things that, why, you know, what is, who does that? You know, and I know that we are all sinners, right? And I've done many things. Hey, I, like I said, I grew up in the South Bronx. I've done a lot of things that I will regret for the rest of my life. And so, I am a sinner, but to steal a, anything, to steal anything from a dead person, especially a priest, a dead priest, I mean, it's just strange. Who does that, right? Who does that? But the media, Catholic media, ignores these things. They ignore it. What would they do with a pope who was a tyrant? A pope who killed several people? A pope who is known to commit adultery? A pope who has his predecessor exhumed? And tortured? And thrown into the Tiber? How would modern Catholic media treat such a pope? 